control arms on modern vehicles have two primary responsibilities, control and isolation. Automakers put a lot of time and engineering into the shape, construction, and design of control arms. The shape helps to control the suspension geometry as it travels up and down. The bushings inside the control arms help to isolate the passengers inside the vehicle from noise, vibration, and harshness, or NVH. It's safe to say that most customers don't fully understand how important the control arms to vehicle ride quality or how other systems can be affected by them when they're worn out. Tires can wear out prematurely because suspension geometry is not being maintained over bumpy roads or going around curves. If a bushing is torn, it can cause a knocking or clunking noise. In this video, we're going to focus on identifying when control arms need to be replaced and why they always should be replaced in pairs. Control arms typically are made of aluminum or steel. While the control arms themselves can take a lot of abuse, the rubber bushings inside them are not very strong. Over time, the rubber inside the bushings can deteriorate, dry rot, crack, or split. When this happens, the bushing will no longer hold the arm in place correctly. Customers may experience abnormal tire wear, excessive NVH, or the steering wheel may appear to be off-center while the vehicle is traveling straight down the road. When worn out or torn bushings are the culprit, why is it so important to replace both control arms? Well, if the left-hand control arm is worn out or the bushing is torn and making noise, it's safe to assume that the right-hand control arm bushings are just as worn or following close behind. Some control arms may feature ball joints that are permanently secured into place. These ball joints typically cannot be replaced separately, so the entire control arm needs to be replaced. The ball joints are critical to vehicle alignment, so these control arms also should be replaced in pairs. The ball joint boot should be inspected for signs of dry rotting or cracks, as well as leaking grease. And of course, if the ball joint is loose internally, it must be replaced. A more extreme example of why control arms would need to be replaced would be if a control arm has been damaged or bent by a severe impact or a careless tow truck driver. Even in a situation like this one, it's still best to replace both control arms. Why? Well, you won't really know what condition the bushings are in on the other control arm, and they'll likely perform differently than the bushings inside the newly replaced arm. Thanks for watching.